to the south to a place somewhere down here called Augusta and that's the place where the two oceans meet the Indian Ocean and the Great Southern Ocean. And this time it's not the Indian Ocean, it's the Great Southern Ocean. And over on the other side of this little hill thingy, there's the lighthouse. The other side, that's where the Indian Ocean still is. So, if you remember, the lighthouse, it's up there. On that side of the lighthouse, there is the Great Southern Ocean. And on this side of the lighthouse is the Indian Ocean. It is kind of cool because it's got like the whole coast here. Look, it's all rocky, rocky outcrops all along. I'm doing a um, vlog takeover because Suzanne's incapacitated because she's just trodden in a gigantic human poo. She smelt it no, first. I don't know. It's all over my and shoes. there she is, she's cleaning it off. Oh. I don't think I'm going to let her back in the car. She's going to have to walk home. <laughs> all right. All right, so we have abandoned the Blackwood River altogether and have come home to Glenbrook Estate instead where we're currently now going on a little walk like right next to us is the vineyard and then we've got the bush and the sun's about to set, it's beautiful back home to our little farm stay now where we might go for a little possum hunt tonight. <laughs> we've just seen. They are um, ringtail possums and they are actually critically endangered here in Western Australia. And on this Glenbrook estate they have um, an actual release into the wild program. So I think this is really cool that there's one of the huts where they release them into to start with and then they open them up and then they can get out into the wild. Look, look, look. Oh, this is brilliant. Spotted a cool owl silhouetted against the moon. Thorny frogmouth. This is the best night walk I've ever been on. This is bloody awesome. 